Hey guys, what is going on? Rodrigo here with the Noobs, and Battlefield 2042 is finally here. And with it, we have Battlefield Portal. In this video, I'm going to break down the different aspects of Portal and how you can join, customize, and play Portal matches. There's two main ways to look at Portal. The first is the out of the box functionality, where you can dive right in and start playing. And the second is actually customizing a match to your parameters. I've put video timer hyperlinks in the description below, so you can jump to a specific area of the video if you wish. What's important to understand about Portal is that even when you use the out of box play, the idea is that you can either revisit a map and mode from a specific Battlefield title, such as Bad Company 2, and only have the weapons, operators and vehicles from that game. It's all about being able to customize the way you play. So let's start with the first aspect of Portal, that out of the box functionality. We can access Portal via the main menu, and the best way to describe this way of playing Portal is playing pre-made or custom Battlefield experiences, but without having to do any of the work yourself. Let's run through these sections. Firstly, we have Featured, and here we can find pre-made Portal experiences, ranging from titles such as Battlefield 1942 to Bad Company 2, and from modes from Conquest to Rush, and everything else in between. To play these, you can just click your action button and jump right in. Here you can also browse community experiences. Effectively though, this button is the same as just scrolling to the right on the main menu, across to the browse section. Here you can join servers, some of which are preset, and others that are popular custom made experiences. You can filter on the game mode, and if you hit the action button for search, which on Xbox Series S is down on the left joystick, you can add further filters to find game modes that fit what you want to play. So on a high level, if you're looking to play a weird mix of Battlefield Past and Present, but you don't want to spend any time customizing a mode, then this is probably the best route for you. The second route is to customize your own matches. So let's get into how you do that as it's a little bit more complex than just joining a pre-made game. If you scroll across to host, you'll see something called my experiences. Now, as you can see in preparing for this video, I've had a bit of a play around and created some test experiences, but if you're accessing portal for the first time, you won't have any of your own experiences and we'll need to create one. So as I mentioned, if you're accessing portal for the first time, then this page is going to be empty. And you're also going to be able to see this QR code scanner. You can scan this if you want with your camera phone, but all it's going to do is send you to a hyperlink. And we probably don't want to try and make a custom battlefield experience on our phone. So if you have access to a computer, just go to the URL and type portal.battlefield.com. I put the link in the description below if you want to copy and paste it. Now you might be asking, why are we going off to some random website? Well, the answer is that the customization is presumably too complex to have it in the in-game interface. And so to create custom experiences, we have to go on to the Battlefield website in order to do so. So when you get to the website, you're going to need to log in, either via your EA account or via the platform that you use. I'm on Xbox Series S, so I just click the icon and logged in with my credentials. This is important because when you create an experience on this website, it needs to know where to store it, i.e. on my account on my Xbox Series S, so that I can access it and play it. The first thing you'll see when you've logged in is the option to either create something new or modify an existing experience. The idea of modifying an existing experience is that you can customize the settings that align to a previous Battlefield title. But first we want to create something completely new. And I can do that by clicking the button here. You'll see the criteria on the left hand side. And the website is very simple in that it will guide you through each setting. And you can choose the parameters that you want for each section. So in this example, I want to create a conquest experience. So I can click that option here. I then need to click the arrow to the next section, which is map rotation. Just bear in mind here that for modes like conquest large, Certain platforms don't support this mode. Now in the map rotation, I want a mix of new and old. So I'll add Hourglass and I'll also add the 1942 map Battle of the Bulge. You can add up to 20 maps into the rotation 
and you can move them up or down the queue and you can also remove them. Next up we've got game details. And here I can amend things like the player count, the game duration and other general settings. Once I'm happy I can go into the next section which is gameplay. And here I can toggle friendly fire, aim assist and I can also play around with things like multipliers. As you can see it's very intuitive and easy to use. Next up we've got soldier. And these settings relate to things like if a player is allowed to sprint, if they can revive or do things like slide. In most cases I would leave these settings to the default, but then that is the point of the Battlefield Builder website. You can customise as much or as little as you want. Vehicle settings are up next and are similar kind of settings to the soldier on the previous page. Again I'm going to leave these generally as is. As you're going through each of these settings you'll see this little link icon and if you don't want to have the same settings for each team you can click the link to break it. So what this means is that for team 1 you could have vehicle health regeneration on but for team 2 the health regen would be off. We can also amend the user interface or UI and toggle things like the compass and heads up display. We've got an important one up next and that is AI. Unless you create an instantly world famous portal experience, the chances are you might be playing alone to begin with. So adding bots here is probably going to be required. You can define how many bots you want and if you uncheck this box here then you can go into more detail about the power that these bots have. We then move on to team setup and here you define the generic classes, weapons and operator setup for each team. It does seem at this point that you have to select all three aligning to the same particular battlefield title. You can select a specific one or just align to the default for the map that you're on for each rotation. You can then on the next page check or uncheck operators from the selected factions to add further customization. For weapons we can check or uncheck individual weapons for that particular team and era and we can also choose to add or remove whole sections of weapons. So for example we can just remove assault rifles entirely from that team selection. The next page focuses on attachments for the weapons and again here you can customise depending on the weapons selected in the previous page. We finish up in similar fashion with vehicles and gadgets that we want to appear in game. Another key thing that we can change before we save our experience, if we wish, is the rules editor. But do be warned, this is incredibly complex to change and you don't need to do this in order to save your experience. If you do want to have a play around with this however, then what it allows you to do is add specific rules. The rules are these pink sections here and you can drag them around and then attach them to the mod which is the grey bar. You can give each rule a name and select a specific event for that rule. So we could say this rule will be for what happens when a player dies and we can place them within the rule. So as an example we could say a rule for when a player dies then the player furthest away from the one who's just died has their inventory weapon force changed to something else. And we can even select the specific weapon that we want it to be changed to. So in this example I'll change it to a weapon from Battlefield 1942. So you need to input a rule which is the pink section and then input an action which is the yellow bar and then you can instill additional rules using the green icons that match up like we've done here. In this instance creating that false weapon swap. Do bear in mind that if you try to drag in a condition and it doesn't accept it, it simply means that it's not compatible. You can also add conditions which are in blue and they slot in here. As I say this is very complex and not really required outside of the generic rules that we've already covered but do give it a try if you want. We can then click finish. We need to name our experience and give it a description. So I'm going to call mine the noobs video on portal. So when we check back in game we can see if we can access it. If you haven't made any incompatible choices you'll get a tick for a valid experience and all you need to do is click create. So we've created our experience and we can now navigate back to my experience in the host section of the game. And sure enough we can see our noobs video on portal experience. You then just need to click into it and you can rename the server if you wish. 
along with things like a description, and then just navigate over to host server. Hold down your action button, and it's as simple as that. In all honesty, quite a long drawn out process, and I'd go for the out of the box functionality most of the time, but it is fun to put your own spin on things. If this video helped you out, subbing would be really appreciated as we push on to 1k subs. Take care guys, and I'll catch you in the next one. Thank you.